my tankless water heater here. Um, as you can see, it's got a recirculation pump on it that's connected to the cold water side. Uh, Renai also, I believe, sells a, a design that has the recirculation pump that's inside the tank, uh, but this one didn't come with it, so they sent us uh, this other recirculation pump that we had to put on the outside, which, like I said, it feeds into the cold water side. But uh, here we got our shutoff valve for the, the main, and that's going to go into the water heater, and then into the heating units, and out to the hot side. And the return line is connected to the hot, and it is pumping water from the hot line through the pump around and back into the cold water side and into the hot water heater, which continuously is going to heat up the pipelines so that you don't have cold water and you can get hot water much faster. Here we got a temperature and pressure valve. This is coming down and out. And over here we have the gas line and our condensation line. Um, a lot of times for these gas water heaters, you'll need a neutralization valve or a filter, which would usually probably go about here. But uh, since it's just pouring into some rocks outside, we are not going to need that. Uh, a lot of times the gases build up condensation and that can cause problems to any kind of concrete or anything that's that needs to look nice if it's pouring onto that or if it's going into any pipelines uh, it could destroy the pipelines so just keep that in mind and here's our exhaust and intake for the water heater and that's pretty much it we got that Renai tankless water heater really good